Hi folks, good evening everybody. Today is the last day of this 2019. It's getting over. I just wanted to give a important uh, message on patients benefits improvements. So today I just wanted to speak about uh, functional outcome measures. What is that? Actually, what are the treatment that we are giving in physiotherapy or medical treatment? The patient just coming inside for physiotherapy. First, we can commence the treatment. So we have to clinically assess the patient and functionally assess the patient, behaviorally assess the patient and keep a record. After finishing of one week or 10 days, completion of the treatment, we can record again. Periodically, we have to record the scales and finally we can record again. This is basically called as functional outcome measure. So why this used to give for the patients? Sometimes this functional outcome measures may be a questionnaire format. So the questionnaire means used to check the physical limitations. For example, not able to bend the knee, not able to walk, not able to climb the stairs, not able to getting inside the auto or two wheeler, not able to go for the toilet. These are all the limitations, physical and functional limitations for performing the daily activities and especially their behavioral symptoms. For example, anxiety, depression, phobia, all these things are oriented with the behavioral activities. All this can be assessed as a functional outcome measures. What is the purpose of doing this outcome measures? It allows to make a decision how the treatment we are giving, how best the treatment is, how the care which we are giving for the patient and it helps us to predict whether we are giving a beneficial treatment for the patient. Particularly, for example, the interventions we are giving uh, if manual therapy or short way diathermy or traction or whatever the treatment after completion of the treatment of the patient is having benefits so we have to assess the pre and post treatment this identifying the improvement is called as the functional outcome measure this is the evidence based practice everyone has to follow this outcome measures the year end I wanted to emphasize this outcome measures is more vital for each and every musculoskeletal pain disorders as well as the neurological impairments. This is basically a tool used to assess the patient's current status and sometimes it may be a scoring. It may be 10 scores or 100 scores like that. Sometimes it may be a questionnaire has been translated as per the context of the patient because sometimes it has been completely the questioners or the scales written in English language. So we have to translate this because the patient's better understanding. But we cannot translate all the questioners as per the context if the scale is available, if the questioner is available, we can translate it cultural adaptation according to the patient's difficulties or otherwise we have to invent a questionnaire as per the context and give for the outcome measures. The scoring which determines a quality of care, whatever the physiotherapy we are giving, the treatment quality can be analyzed by means of this outcome measures. It is very very important tool for physiotherapy practice and medical practice. It is a uh, direct management individual patient care especially comparing the care between the old existing treatment and new one i already have been emphasized on the effectiveness of evaluating the physiotherapy treatment there are few examples of functional outcome measures for example if the patient is coming with stiff periarthritis shoulder so we have to assess the patient's pain scales how the pain is. Next, disability scales. How the function is. So what are all the pain scales and disability scales? How we can assess the 
patient. This is called as a spaddy. Spaddy means shoulder pain and disability index. For example, I can give you in the spaddy there are two scales, pain scale 0 to 10 centimeter. In that, how the pain is? Can you able to lie on the painful side? Can you able to reach the high selves? Can you able to touch your back? Analyzed through this pain scale and measure from no pain to severe pain. And disability scale. Can you able to wash your hairs? Can you able to wash your back? Can you able to touch the opposite side of the shoulder? Can you able to don and doff the dresses? Can you able to carry an objects on the affected side? I mean painful side. Can you able to push the objects with the help of the involved side? These are all some disability assessments can be done in the SPADI. This SPADI can be assessed on the first day as well as after the completion of the treatment along with the physical limitation assessment, range of motion. How many physiotherapists are assessing the range of motion? We have to assess the range of motion when the patient enter inside the physiotherapy clinic and assess the SPADI for the periarthritis. Then after completion of the treatment, we have to assess the same range of motion and SPADI for the patient. This emphasizes the quality of care best treatment so whether your interventions given as per the recommendations of doctors or by yourself decision making whether the quality of care patients difficulty is improving behavioral changes occurring say for example the patient is having a severe disability in climbing the stairs not able to walk for 10 minutes after your treatment completion of one week how the patient able to climb the stairs whether there is any improvement whether the patient able to walk more than 10 minutes whether the patient able to sit for toileting these are all the functional outcome measures for knee joint is concerned there is an another scale called as western ontario mcmasters ortho osteoarthritis index scale it is like a questionnaire whatever the thing examples i have given now descending stairs ascending stairs getting inside the auto getting out of the vehicle walking all these things are found in that particular scales it's a score like 100 scores how many scores percentages we have to calculate in the first day and after the completion of the treatment so these are all the two important outcome measures for the shoulder and knee and back pain is concerned there are scales different varieties of scales but we wanted to categorize the patient is having any psychological issues which uh, carries the patient to the disability so there are low risk medium risk and high risk which can be analyzed by oribro musculoskeletal pain screening scales this scales has been translated in tamil as a questioner and given to the each patients so these are all the humpty number of patients we are getting day by day daily in hospital setup as well as in clinic periarthritis as well as osteoarthritis and low back pains very common so please use this functional outcome measures along with your physical limitations of assessment in your chart assessment chart which enhance your quality of physiotherapy treatment evidence based practice so this day i wanted to emphasize all physiotherapists to do this as a regular practice and all the medical professionals please carry out our quality of care and refer patients to all the physiotherapists so and all the public friends please have this awareness is very very vital when you are going for the treatment is concerned so wish you all very happy new year 2020 happy thank you